Here's what a reader's job is. A reader sees an event that is coming or the energy of an event that is coming. The reader has a choice of telling you exactly what's going to happen or somewhat what is going to happen and then says, look, if you want to either avoid this or you want to uh, fulfill this, then here's what you should do and what you should do. Not say things like there's snow on the mountaintop or and you have absolutely no clue what that means, or to say something like, you know, you know someone in your life that whose name begins with an R and R and R, or who's because you know lots of people whose names begins with R, and that doesn't really do anything for you. All you're going to do is pick the first one that you can bring to mind, you know, or you know someone's name begins with a B, a B, a Buford, <laughs> you know, you can come up with almost any name. That's not the job of a psychic or a reader or a telepath. That's not our job. Our job is merely to help you to light up those things that need to be lit. In other words, if I see a dangerous event coming from you, my job isn't to scare you and say, hey, you know, you're going to fall off of this cliff if you go to the corner of Crenshaw and Florence. No, that's not what I'm supposed to do. What I'm supposed to do is just tell you, I see some negative things that are coming up. However, if you'd like to avoid these negative things, this is what you should do, okay, and then give you precise instructions. That is our job. I see some very positive things coming up for you. There's this is going to happen, or, or maybe this, or and how about we, we, if you need for this to happen, this is what you're going to have to do. Okay, that's our job. That's what we're supposed to do. To tell you that someone is going to die is, is one of the rudest things that you could possibly do to a person. It borderlines on evil because at that particular moment, you have scared that person. You have caused them to be paranoid. You have caused them to be confused, and you have caused them a lack of sleep and a lack of rest, and you have caused them a lack of peace. At that particular moment, you are guilty of harming that person. You can't do that. You merely have to guide the person and tell them, listen, we need to do this. And if that person asks why, you just look at them and you can say, uh, there's some negative events that I see coming up, and I think that we can totally avoid them if we do this. Okay? Or if the, the person comes to you and says, hey, you know, I, I had this dream, and in this dream, this and this and this happened. And you need to explain to them, okay, I understand that you saw this particular person, because, but because you saw this particular person doesn't mean that it is. It's merely a representation or the energy represent that you saw represented itself in this particular fashion. The job as a reader of a reader is to help you to navigate, okay? Help you to avoid certain pitfalls and help you to meet certain benefits. That's our job, okay? Our job is not not to make up things. Our job is not to sound cryptic, cryptic although we do have a habit of doing that. And you know, I've you know come in the company of some very very profound readers and some very very wonderful readers that. Sometimes they sound a little cryptic. <laughs> it's just the way that it is. I've been accused of being Morpheus for, you know, I don't many, I don't know many how many times I've been accused. Hey, you know, you sound just like Morpheus. However, I was here before that movie came out, and I've always spoken the way that I do. So, what you're going to have to do is understand that a reader's job is not to think for you. Our job is merely to hold your hand through the storm and get you through the storm, or get you to that place of flowers that you want to be to. So. Understand that, first and foremost. Also, no, you don't need a reading every two weeks. That's absolutely ridiculous, okay? Uh, I tell people a lot of times, they say, you know, you really don't need another reading in two weeks. That's just ridiculous. You've got to wait for things to unfold, and you've got to see how they come into your life. Now, if you want me to sit and take your money all the time, I'd be happy to do that, and you could just say that you got a reading, but the truth is you don't. Another thing, you don't need two-hour readings. Any reader that wants to do a two-hour reading for you is full of baloney. <laughs> you know, so understand that there are different types of readings, different types of readers, psychic and telepathic, and we have a job to do. And no matter what anybody tells you, it is a valid job. That job is merely to help you get through the things that you need to get through in your life in order to be a better person or to fulfill those things that you need to fulfill to bring peace to your life. That is the basic job of a reader. 